afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything at Amazing Spectacular Propaganda Cast with your host and Pearl Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda, your lord and master, your defender, your vox populi, of the tail one me one own Arnhem checkpoint in the north. It is Borobadja fighting for the overcommander vest Germany in Deutschland, rolling out here with the one and seventh Panther Brigade with Overwatch featuring Jaeger Infantry. Early warning systems for the fatherland and light artillery pieces alongside the sector assault. Trouble infantry presence south. It is Begby. Fighting for king country, the Commonwealth, the British Army. The guards are addition leading its way towards Arnhem. With a rolling gears here featuring flamethrowers, designate command vehicles, vehicle repairs, the 9.75 inch flame motor support, and finally the AVRE. With triple section start there, double full set for Boro Badger. Yeah. And as always, a big thanks to my patron supporters for supporting Propaganda Cast, and I'm going to keep doing what I do on a monthly basis. Y'all rock. Anyway, you two can join the ranks of Patreon page. You can all just donate by PayPal. Links in the description. Always comment, like, share, subscribe, press the bell button. All that is appreciated as well. Anyway, sex moving towards the centre. He also moving eastwards, obviously. Folks in this and Stuart Pioneers in the west. Sam is able to listen to fuel point. Barbed wire by the trucks of those damn Englishmen. Don't try and claim it for the Empire. Folks listening eastwards there. Lord, those Germans, they wired off the truck. Bastards, they knew we were going to claim it for the Empire. Grand Eastern Point here. Steady advancing from both sides. No engagements yet. Season Eastern Point. Got the Western Fuel Point there secured. Back here we got a fourth section. Back here suddenly committing heavily to the infantry push. Ready to storm the positions of the Jerry's. We got Bart Wire here. Third folks on the way there for Boro Badger. Got the point they secured almost soon. Grab the eastern point. No sandbags here for Begby. Clearly not a fan of sandbags. Perhaps had a traumatic childhood experience with a sandbag. Section wing ahead here. And it goes about to get ambushed here by the calf point. Got folks with the second here by the western fuel. Po victory point. She jumps an ambush in the section. They try to get into cover, but a bit late there. So there's a party there for Boro Badger. Still getting a white kill here in the section. Oh, white, that might have been a bit aggressive. Stone Pulse taking fire in the open. Could rush to the support here, the folks on the west. A bit more movement in the east here. Two folks got one clashing with the section. In fact, could actually allow him to push in there. We got more section moving westwards here. So, poor old bad, you have to choose some tools westwards there. Have to make really good progress in the east. Borrow Badger seems to be scav scattering out a bit here. Take down for Begby. Borrow Badger's got a truck out. They've got Stuart Piney taking front of them two sections. Meet four back here. So we need to get troops there. They're not going there. Got Carp Point and Centre Victory Point. They're being seized. Westwards here. He's going to have to retreat soon. Stuart Piney's down to one man. The rest are dead behind the well. Fulton Grenade is there. Got one kill so far. Need to retreat soon as well. Carp Point deeply exposed, of course. So is Begby's. Good chance of maybe getting wiped. You've got a Fulton rushing in here from the centre to assist. And there goes Sturm Pioneers down, wiped out with the sections. Shots fired. We got trucks sitting up there for Boro Badger. The Battle Group Headquarters. Grand Eastern Point here. Not looking great here for Boro Badger. Losing Sturm Pioneers squad early on is pretty grim there. Checkers inspector has so much info. Could of course through point more. He could even bolster. He could go for weapon racks. He could go for grenades. He could do a lot of things. Bring here westwards there. Troops reinforcing. Battle Group Headquarters halfway down there for Border Badge in the German Army. Got more folks running in here trying to deal with the Tommies, the Insel Affen. Sappers on the way there for Begley. More troops in the field. Where's Border Badge? You said three. We got another Sturm Pioneer squad. Obviously, need to replace the ones lost. He needs it for minesweepers, mines, and down the road, tank repairs. Section here, right. Of course, need to get the fuel point back. That's going to be tough there since they got the heavy cover that Border Badge laid down. Trying to get a YP, trying to avenge the fallen Sturm Pioneer squad. So just slightly equalize the situation there. But looks like here it's not going to happen there for Boro Badger. Got the sappers moving out and off flame from the way there for the sappers. Ready to roast some hands. Troops reinforcing healing. Storm is done. Fulton's moving westwards there. Looks like they're going to make a storm assault there. Section reinforcing. Nothing further on the base. No bolsters. Not much there from Bigby and the British. There you go, the assault continue, goes on there, goes section caught out of cover. Folks are pursuing there, trying to get a kill there, force a retreat. So they, have, they can easily grab the fuel point then, there you go. Beck retreats, assigning he just does not wish to waste manpower on that one. I think that's a wise decision now, but he could have kept running around to buy maybe some more time, but obviously that would have 
have some risk. They may not East was pushed here. We got rather heavy folks in the center here from Beckby. Sappers in the church. And we got the Jaeger squad out here for Borobad. Yang the G for the Kree sniper rifle. Meanwhile, battle group headquarters remain silent. May go for some medics soon. Back here. Nothing further going on there. Basil going now. For those wondering, is that a cat? Yes, indeed, that is a cat. This Basil, the propaganda cat. The finest cat. This side of Berlin. Section says ring about, then gave me strong punish right in the center. Got six pound gun flying up here for Begby. Yes, Basil. The viewers can hear you. They think you're all a wonderful, delightful cat. Plus with the section here. We got assault rifles on the way there. Football or back just troops. Very good there. Very good. Even Basil is amazed. And then he attacks my hand. Because he's a little bastard. So, anyways, shots fired there. Yeg is trying to hold back here, and I'm trying to avoid the cat biting my fingers off. Stone Pony's retreating. Get out. Very determined. Yeah. Anyway, sorry about that. Folks is pushing back the section. It's just very difficult to stay focused and commentate when I have to also try and get the cat to let go of my hand and not bite it savagely. Because he thinks that's a fun way of playing with me. Fox is taking the center back top of the Jaeger section. That's going to have to hold off. Yeah. Enemy threatening a capture point. Got the church section right. It makes fly up there for Begby. Cat's really hanging on there to my arm. Thankfully, I'm wearing a shirt. Otherwise, I might need some band aids. And it's still punch with the section here. Could get a white pig against Beck. The end there. We go. Scores the kill. Truck flamp for Border Patch. Can be strapped. Punted quarters. Sense secured as well there. Beck, we may have to switch up and tactic against Border Badge you now. Having lost ground, they can't easily launch a counter attack here. Although the sappers should have out a bit here, fortunately they're not in a great position. Ow. Stupid cat. Anyway, section they down to two men on health. Biggest fire there, got one kill on it. Fuel flow there is looking uh, pretty equal between the two for now. Pretty equal. Sappers down the church, that he has both his men increasing their numbers, increasing their firepower, durability, and, you know, basically, you know, any repair or build related speeds also increase. So they can lay down sandbags faster, they can build buildings faster, of course, they don't build buildings, but they lay down mines faster, and of course, they can repair faster if they have the ability. So, I mean, you know, just bolstering really just applies so many benefits to the British. Like, it's such an incredibly powerful upgrade, besides just, you know, the obvious, you get a fifth guy in a sense, like, you know, okay, there's another guy, but again, it just provides so many bonuses to have, like, just one extra guy in the unit. Got the center there. Keep controlling healing. Shreya Punter calls up there for Boro Badger to save position. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Got dug in there by the point, right next to the track. Filter moving head here. Got the Eastern Fuel Pond. Good play by Boro Badger. I'm going to back there a bit there. Thumbs up. And the little shit damn well drew blood. That is the cat, not the British. Unless the cat is secretly a British spy. Sent by Boris Johnson to end me. But, anyways, fall to the section, dealing with the section. Sappers moving up there. Nissan here's gun continues, denying the British want more fuel, the cause of the British denying German fuel. Sappers ride it, overwhelmed by German resistance. And firepower back here, not much going on. Got off all of a sudden the way there for border bed, you think that's a good idea. Halfway done. All of a sudden almost done, right in there. He of course will need to authorize soon. Take me there, I imagine, may soon try and take up. Yes, got weapon racks, there we go. Got the Bren guns being handed out. Got the Bren guns being handed out. Let's 
Shots fired here. Back here, Twitch reinforcing healing. Mostly healing, though, reinforcements done. The Yeager's hiding out there by the calf point. He could consider bringing an MG34 or like a tiller piece. I think it'll be near versus Begby. Begby, I think, really should try and begin pushing up there. I believe Boro Bank is authorizing his strap hunted quarters. So he can actually get for some. There we go. Yeah, yes, all fast fact. He can go for the light machine upgrade there. Now the opposite are done. Good there. Bren Gundler delivering a uh, spewing of lead there against the Germans out in the open. Forcing them to come and even then might kill them. Solid upgrade there. Sturm Pazman at the east side. We got the section up there on the Sturm Pioneer. A fine there. Section down to three men. Still must quickly land some hits. We got a Morton placement up for Becky Frank. Some artillery support here for the front line troops against the Jerry's, the Huns. Cheeky there. Cheeky. But of course, depending on the setup, it can be quite effective. Vickers on the church as well. It's going to make much tougher for Borrow back to like launch an assault here. And also just to fight around. It's going to have to like launch some much more aggressive assaults that just meant to like, you know, quickly deliver a ton of damage and then get the job done. I was just going to get like murdered under a. Uh, Barrage of artillery. We got a line of gun here, which would certainly help, I think, counter this drag a bit. They were big, at least make it hard for him to do so. Could also lead on smoke machine, but again, can neutralize machine gun, making such an attack more feasible. We got mines up here, obviously expecting perhaps an attack for there on the mortar emplacement. So good foresight there by Begby. Thumbs up. Line of gun almost done here, following against the section in the center. Force of retreat here again in the face of Bren gun and Vickers fire. The Bren gun, by the way, was a Czechoslovakian light machine gun. The Bren actually stands for Briano and Enfield. You know, the Briano basically being the Czechoslovakian weapons factory placed there. So, sort of like the main thing there. And then the Enfield is basically the British, like, you know, small arms manufacturer. They were a fun fact there. And they basically just uh, got the design there from them. And that was basically the Bren gun. So, fun yeah, fact the Germans at the start of the war would actually also use effectively the Bren gun as well. Because they captured a bunch from the Czechoslovakians. I believe it was primarily the Waffen SS, for example, to be equipped for them in the early stages of the war. So fun fact there. Arc around the church, take fire from the vicars there in the church. Bit of rock, nasty stuff there. Line of gun firing away there. Bit more to go for calling the tank. Meanwhile, we got to take over there for Begby. Very good. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. We're kidding over there for Borrow Bad, yeah? But yeah, early on the war, Bath and the were actually pretty poorly equipped. They might have wouldn't given them, like, you know, any of the good equipment. So they had to basically make do with stuff they captured from, you know, other countries. So they were some equipped with, you know, Czechoslovakian light machine guns, as one example. So a little fun fact there. I'm definitely not one of the things you hear so much about. Fulton about here. More turn place in their final got Fulton close. They can of course pop an intended grenade, but on its own that's not gonna be enough to like stop the mortar placement. Like I mean it might slow down damage a bit here. Maybe cause like to brace it, but yeah. At which point again. He does effectively shut it down for a while, but it's not going to, like, single handedly stop it. Like, even if, like, he didn't brace it, the incendiary grenade on his own system is going to be enough to, like, you know, destroy it. But still, it does slow down. It does buy time. In the meanwhile, these still got force going on these and fuel pump looking to help maneuver Big B there. Thumbs up to Bora Bed. You could play there. Against the British, the Obo Commander, which you generally want to, like, you know, more maneuverable than them. And generally, as yes, the Obo Commander, which you generally want to be more maneuverable than your opponent. Since you're generally the faster one there, so it's all about, you know, in that regard, being a bit smarter than your opponent, I find. Sabs are reinforcing healing, got the because they need some healing badly. Still some time to go for the ground, but not far off. Borrow Bank, meanwhile, still got definitely long to go for calling any Panzer Force here versus Begby, going for the cup on there. Line for coming in here, trying to deal with the Morton placement, not bad work there, not bad. Hope some folks will bring ahead here. Mine goes off there by the looks of it. He shoots and mean it. Maybe. Grabbing the eastern fuel point of a section. Another push for the center. We've got a section holding up the seven kills so far. Veteran C2. One Ren gun. Second section over here. With double Bren guns. Jumper takes some nasty hits here. More simply repaired by Beckby. Good work. Thumbs up. You can go for the Cromwell now. Of course, typically at this point, most British would like to just go for Comet tanks. You know, go hammer tanks and then push for the Comet here. Good chance that Beckby's going to do that. And certainly, I think it wouldn't be a bad idea currently. 
No, he does go for the Cromwell here. Decides to push for a bit of medium armor while he can here against the uh, bottle bat. You're going to slide up a hand there. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Yeggs push about the section. Meanwhile, Boro Badger yeah, is not far away from a Panther form of game, so far there's still a bit to go here versus Begbie. Got Mines down here, pushing on for the Western Carp form there again. Lions gun holding back here for Boro Badger yeah, and the 1 and 10 Panzer Brigade. One of the best performing Panzer Brigades of the war, actually. Fun fact. One of the few good performing Panzer Brigades, actually. Most of the Panzer Brigades perform pretty poorly. There's Fulcher still looking ahead, going to take a fire there from all the British assembled out in the open. More fire running down there. Bring up these inside here, going for the eastern field point there once more. Very chum play there, Boro Badger again, looking to constantly slow down Begbie so he doesn't get too far ahead there in terms of armor. Sensible. Boro Badger there's got the Pentaful Mod game on the way. Got the Crom move here, Mark IV for Begbie, the British Army. Section makes him towards the center, or towards the center. Lance gun firing away. East side here, we got the Con Jaeger's about to four staff for the Cromwell. There you go. Adding the tank commander. Always a nice little upgrade. Tools moving up. Panther from Old Gear halfway done. Nasty little hit there. Fulton are about there, about to get a white on the Jaegers. Push enforcing. Wing West was there, got the point here. And we got the officer on the way for Begbie. Ready to lead an assault on their hands. And finish this war by Christmas. This Christmas, not the next one. This time for sure. Section right with the opposite on the full screen of is there. Got the Pantaful Mod Gear rolling ahead. Should add the Penalty Mod MG42 there. Got folks in the section. Pantaful about to hit a mine. Straight to the six pounding gun, which does deter the Pantaful from moving ahead. Avoiding the mine. Pretty lucky there for Borobag. In the center, though, he is getting absolutely mauled in there. Go lose the Ken for the Begbie's forces. <laughs> a stinging blow. These troops are suppressed. Begging for help. Machine in the false start. You're about to find that something there. Mimo crumbling in into the troops that got the Ken for, but the engagement in the center has been lost here. Thank you to the British Army. The one in the center of the Panther is forced to fall back here in the face of fierce British resistance. In these, though, Begbie clearing up any German held ground there swiftly and soundly. Crumbling up the west side there, a bit lightly back here, triple enforcing healing for Boro Badger. Panther falls, wing hold back for pairs. Pretty stinging defeat here to Boro Badger. They've lost control of most of the map. effective since he's got nothing in the field. And now he's in at the risk of losing the Shroud Punted quarters, which is going to be really painful for Boro Badger. That actually transpires. He's going to have to rush in there, risk the Panther fall, but if he loses the Shroud Punted quarters, he might be worse off than that, to be honest. He may just be worse off than that. There you go, rush, counter attack here. Just to try and save the scrap punted quarter. Smoke's going down there. Really good play there by Boro Badger. Two thumbs up. Again, this anti tank can still fire, but the thing is, let's attack round for smoke. It becomes significantly less accurate. So, while not perfect, it gives them something to work with there. Almost losing the pen, but they will get to the crumble though. Spegby rushes through the smoke here. Heedless of what's on on earth tonight because that's not for the Ken. We have the really great use of smoke here by Boro Badger. Again, two thumbs up. And he just highlights like what a difference like a smoke can you be you know do tactically for you in an engagement. Really great stuff there. You know, going for the combat got Pokemon to deal with it. Still, save the scrap on you got a tank thanks to that smoke barrage. Like really, you smoke. Just don't smoke. That's bad. You smoke technically. That's good. I'm really sending mixed messages here, and I Anyway, section routed right there. Moving west for the false community. A section. Back to reinforcing healing. Going to the barrage here. Basically, I think a desperate call with Baby to slow down the advance of Boro Badge and keep him contained. I can understand that. That, of course, a Baby, you know, may just be related to, you know, Bomber Harris and just wants light stuff on fire. 
And he's crumbling away with a back beat. Takes up the Panda 4. Ground lifting from the section. Ground lifting back to point with the Fox. Got 280 versus 415. Trip between forcing healing. Crom halfway down with a back beat. Bring up another tank. He could consider at this point taking up here versus Bordo Badger, but looks like he sticks the Crom wall. Meanwhile, the Panda Bordo is almost done. He really should add a pinball machine gun. He's also floating a lot of munitions. Like, he could easily, I think, afford some mines, booby traps. Goliaths could even be like, considered here by Bordo Badger. Definitely feel like the munitions uh, usage here by him is a bit sloppy. Not like grounds for court martial link yet, but you know, he could be doing a bit more with it. Good push in East here. We got Sabresto in the line of fire with the Germans. Mine in the way there. Well, Bordo about your head it with all of his men assembled in one spot. Looks like it. Oh, he got lucky there. He only lost two guys. He could have lost like maybe like, you know, three, four, five, even six. A little bit more quick time there. Go Panthers off the Cromwell. To the fire there from the Molten Placement. He's got the Orbs on the Veterans who won. Four kills. Pantomum through the center tank fire from the six pounder gun. And he's avoiding it, but still under fire. A Kim Landgrave in the Cromwell's troops holding up here. Force retreat officers already legging it out of there. And there you go, Pentaforce going for the Morton placement. Sneak maneuver here by Boro Badger, but there's still the six pounder gun, which he has to be careful with. And of course, there's potential for mines, so a bit risky here. There you go. Morton played down a half of forcing a brace, then the Pentaforce is quick to pull a combat blitz to get out of there. Baggage between forcing healing. Mine hit there. Talking about there, could move on the munitions, but apparently Boro Bat decides not to extend his presence any further on the west. At least not to extend it. Boro Bat could soon go for another Panther. We could also go for Yak Panther. We could of course all try to go for the Panther here versus Begby, the Panther Kampfwagen 5. Fox was retreating there. Mortar emplacement no longer braced. Line for going there with one kill, but Vetch need two. They like to infantilica shots. Boro Badger just commits a second Panzer IV Model J. Nothing fancy, just the good old Panzer IV. Workhorse of the German Panzerwaffe. Grab this to the point. Panzer westwards. Going west of the section, going for the western victory point. Fox they could launch a counter attack here with the Panther Four could give some problems there for Beck the Nice gotta push up in the Fox was Jaegers as well. He does have mission for sector assault, of course this might be the reason Boyle Beck just got resources to pop these sector assaults at the right time versus Beck B. Not impossible at all, of course something you should have kept in mind when complaining about the missions going in the first place, but even then, you know, there is still the consideration of mines and you know booby traps. And the second Panther almost down there for Bordo Badger. Bet you could soon go for another Cromwell though. Of course, you could also go for Firefly. You could again go for the Comet. They set up for the Comet. Troops routed. Now, obviously, we're interested to tangle with the Cromwell. We got more mines on the left flank. Again, he's clearly concerned. He, interesting. Oh, he has mines here as well. So he's clearly concerned about paths that, you know, Bordo Badger might take to take it out. He's not repairing the Mortar and Plasma yet. So theoretically, Bordo Badger could still quickly clear it out there with a. Few sharp thrusts. Enemy threatening a capture point. Just press the Vickers machine gun. Oops, I'm up here as well. We got a far flung for Begby. So here's uh, bringing something a bit more bigly gunned here versus the German Panzers. Smoked in here from the self repair. And this feels a bit. I've wasted the munitions by baby. I don't feel like it wasn't necessary, but I might just be pantomiming up there. Could have thrown down a smoke from the line for gun in support the attack. Feels like they missed the opportunity. We got sex assault the gun in here from Boro Badger, but still, should I think thrown in smoke here? We got air support calling in there. Stukas flying in there. Mostly missing and hitting anything but the Cromwell. Pantomime back down to half of already. Good maneuver there. Other Pantomime with a damaged engine. Hit a mine. 
could take out the Cromlers, but he might have extended. In fact, yes, he did extend. It's not in a might. He did, but no. Saves the Cromlers just now. In fact, gets a Panda 4. A stinging blow there to Bordo Badger. A stinging blow. Punished for not checking those mines. But there you go. Oh, didn't get the Cromwell. We do see a full trip to send us Begbeat while he did take out Panther 4. Ultimate forces took too much damage with Red Sleeve. Borrow Badge, you could advance. Fancy sending a load of orbs on to the center there. Got the Firefly there with the tank commander. Could, of course, add the chill rockets, which, note, were not exclusive to the Firefly. They could also be added to regular Shamans, but you know, just, they don't have those. It's about, I think, the Shamans are actually more regularly used than the Cromwell in the British Army. Fun fact there. Picks up the Panzer IV. Oh, we did actually add the uh, tube rockets. Very nice. We got these inside. And we're going with the blitz mover here. Oh, misses. Needs to disengage here. Might risk losing the other pentacle. Would be pretty bad here for Boro Badger, but of course, great for Beckley. And there you go. Both two the rockets here, but there you go, Kevin Rowling. But even then, there's a good chance to lose the pentacle to the Firefly. Narrowly gets around the corner here. Major survivor. That was really risky there by Boro Badger. Really risky. But now, Beckley might be the one getting risky. He's going to charge right into all the Panzer fast and throw away the Firefly. The problem is, even like he gets the Panzer 4. That's not going to be worth the Fireflies. That costs a bit more than that. There you go. Chroma running into the scene. Still got the Ken. Still got the Fox Gunners. And the Jaegers even though. The Jaegers are no threat there. So narrow call here for Beckley's Firefly. But he does manage to save its posterior. Time's gone. They're close to 18. He's got Orbs on here. On center Orbs on this officer here. Who's been kept with the Bren Guns galore. I think he needs to treat those Orbs alone before they get turned into, well, minced meat. Takes up the Panzer Fault. Explosion down here. And Boro Badger commits to a Yak Panzer. He could, of course, go for the Panther, another Panzer Fault. In this case, Boro Badger sides the Yak Panzer is what is needed. The Panzer Jaeger. So we've been forcing healing soon enough. Spare so Panzer Fault's one being attacked. And, of course, one for Boro Badger right to deal with it. And meanwhile, though, he has secured these. He says, Beck is focused too much on the center. So thumbs up to Boro Badger there at least. Chroma down to less than half health, pushed back here by a spirited German counterattack under Boro Badger's command. <coughs> Apologies about that hiccup. Almost got the Panther 4, good hit here by the 6 pounder gun on the Panther 4. Almost got the Panther 4 there. Yak Pan's almost done. Hauling it behind here, the house to save the Panther 4. The camera for them may just provide some base to the Panther 4 here. Oh! Oh god! Panther 4 out! But he may just get the Firefly. Yes, indeed! The enemy that was a really damn close game. I feel like it was a bit of a waste there, but maybe, like, I don't think it was necessary to kill the. Uh, or sacrifice the Firefly to kill the Panther 4 there. Damned enemies tried to take and see so we have to the section there. Fox beating the British there. 200 hit, Mr. 397. Borobanya has to, still behind uh, Begbie then. Big two points. We got the Yak Panzer ready, the Panzer Jäger Fear. And actually, it was just called the Panzer 4 70, really. Panzer 4 70 instead of Yak Panzer. That was actually only the early version with the same gun as the same shade, the Stug 3G or the Panzer 4. But the upgraded version here with the high level gun was actually just called the Panzer 4 70. And I believe that was an attempt to like, deceive the Allies into thinking they actually managed to upgrade the Panzer 4. With the higher velocity gun run, just like you know, tank destroyer. Fun fact, there. Fun fact. Yak Panzer going for the Molten placement. And to force a brace again. Need to cover up the Yak Panzer going the light gun here for Borough. Beg obviously wants to enter Molten placement, plus more pressure than Begby. There we go, good hit from the Yak Panzer on it. Still need to be very careful. The Yak Panzer shoots, misses. Another hit. They almost got the Molten placement. Camp Boro Badger finally ended. And Fox is a mine. And the Sandy Yak is about to get annihilated. There we go. Mortifier tears them apart. 
That said, he finally gets the Mortem placement in return. But was it worth it? Probably. So she's been back looking, I think, notable here. He has gone though for Hammer Tax. He's might be showing up for the common now here versus Boro Badger. We shall have to course and get him to now that Boro Badger is doing a much better job there. Andy now, in fact, his resource pet. Yuck Punch moves into the six pounder gun. Ace of the bone up close. Not great there. Sick Yuck Punch down to half health. Sabre charging forwards. Ace of there. Five kills. Flame for it. Fucking rushing to deal with that. That's going to be an anti tank mate there from the sappers. There we go. Damage engine. Six point gun hold back. We got 277 47. Fun fact this little cone, if you will, on the Akpan's X was supposed to be an MG42. But really, for some reason, decided not to. But it's actually like in the files as well. So, little fun fact thing. In fact, the early model Yak Panzer without the high logs, gun acted two MG42s in the hull. Got the machine crew there. But Begbie's good to crew. Going back to some people on the road. Sniper on the way as well for Begbie to bleed out the Huns. Fix up the Cromwell. Folks just jump on something out. Just reinforcing healing. And the usual fun fact, there's actually two versions of the high velocity gun version Yak Panzer. One was made by Bormark V. There was also one made by Alkit, who made the Stug. For whatever reasons, Alkit made it with a box here of superstructures. It's actually a much higher profile, meaning it was really like great as a tank destroyer. So they actually used primarily as you say tank replacements for division. They couldn't get like a proper tank. They would actually get like, you know, a big Yak Panzer instead. I imagine much to the dismay of the crews. I prefer something with a turret. But little fun fact there. Panther on the weather for Boro Badger. Yak Panther got 10 dimensions, one gain on it. Second shot goes off the mark there. Snapping nearby with four kills. We got 23 versus 30. Panther for they're almost done. Beg me still come time for calling the comet, but again. Really good field rest from Boro Badger, just really made it a tough one. In the far east here, we've got the Fox Captain section forcing a retreat. West side, we've got a big push here with Begbie. Till the father's trying to snuff out his men there. Pretty aggressive mining there, Begbie. Boro Badger, I think, going to need to move to force there to support the left flank. He's trying to grab the eastern flank. In fact, he's getting pretty stretched out here versus Begbie. They're arguably. So it's Begbie. Orbs on that 23 with 13 kills. Very good. Officer there. Gets a point on the neutral, but it's ultimately forced back here by Boro Badger's Orbosoldaden. Got the Pantom Morgi out there for Boro Badger. Troops reinforcing healing. Jack Panzing eastwards. Pantomming eastwards without the pinlight machine, obviously. Going in pretty aggressively with the Panther on the Yak Panther straight into the six pounder gun though. Ace level course now for retreat. He's probably gonna try and get a wipe here. Maybe take out the Cromwell. Gets it. Can he take out the as well here? And Panther for misses. Looks like he's splitting up the two. Guy says port called in. Gets his now with the Panther for a stinging blow here to Begby now. Lost both his tank and his sniper here to a sharp armored push here by Boro Badger. Though I would say pretty risky to no supporting infantry though. But obviously he's working out, except now he's Jagdpanzer getting stuck with some awkward pathing. Air support rain down here. Six panel crew there close to the wiped out. Begby is close to the common, but he's still some time away there. It's six panel gun crew there. About to get wiped out there. We have a second one out there. Jagdpanzer getting out there. Pentafork got the anti tank crew there. Two pinned down. Screaming for aid. As the German Luftwaffe wrecks them with hot lead. He's trying to take out the six panel gun here. They may need more than the Pentafork to do the job here. Sabbath rushing forward. to get the Pentafork out there fast. Stuart Punny is charging in. Could, I think, go with the concussive grenade here to maybe buy some time there, but looks like it won't be necessary. Obviously, getting the Vickers here, cleared up the Stuart Punny, but then having to retreat. Falcon is blocking the retreat. Panther 4 nearly escapes death here. The six-pounder gun makes an attempt there. 
179 with a 3 and 14. Big very close to the common tank now. Very close. Jack Panzer and Panda for both in your repairs. Badly. Mine hit off in the west. All of a sudden they're forced to retreat. Another fun fact about the Yak Panzer, the gun was actually too big for the chassis, even like without a turret, it actually had a slight tendency like to dip forward, so if you weren't careful with the gun, you connected it into the dirt, in which case the gun would block the barrel, in which case you then fight, you'd blow the entire thing up. At least get someone killed, possibly, so yeah. It had some structural design flaws there, no matter it was made by Alkid or Volmark. So a little fun fact there. Little fun fact there. Fuck, they're being routed. Ground lost in part of the section. Troops reinforcing healing. Fix up the Panzer 4. Pinball machine almost done. We got Eastern side here. Fuck of the sections. Bit of nasty damage there, but Borrow Badger holds the line. The west side. Punch being lost there. Back be very close to the comedy. Should have the fuel line. Just needs the map and call in some. Uh, more premium medium armor here versus the Jerry's. But some fighting sense to get a bit more sporadic across the map here. As Begley's trying to like avoid any pitch battles here with Borough Badges and he's just gonna lose to the Saints. The Tilly so not making these from needs to treat the machine before the entire thing collapses on it. <laughs> Possibly not the entertain the West, we got another one ready, but still, that's going to be a problem here for Vegby. Well, another one there, good comedy is on the way. Subspace needs to link down mines, very good. Anti tank crew exterminated, and he's quickly salvaging in here for spare parts. Thumbs up to Borobadja. Grand decent point there. Comet slowly approaching for Vegby and the British Army. Borobadja could, of course, go for another Panzer IV. Theoretically, could be setting up for a Panther, though he does not have the population for the Panther, so. But there you go, he just goes for another Panther 4. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Sub is right in the east. Likely the mine. A lot of brain guns there, quickly shredding the gems out in the open. Yak Panther being backed up with the Panther 4. The they're definitely being retreated there. Comet almost done for Begby and the British Army. Almost done. You now have a new comet tank. To the fire there in the midst of the British horde. Comet ready though. Adding the tank commander there. Good hit by the 6 gun on the Panda Fort. To the firing down the midst of the British infantry, causing further casualties as the assault is quickly being sapped of momentum. Comet the main support here. No pretty dice here though for Borobat to go over on the flank here. Comet on the move, but again risks a bit a few things there. Go almost cut both sections. And the officer's already back at base reinforcing. There you go, back piece assault. Pretty much no further than that. You still got the comet, but now he has to play in the defense in the center until you get more infantry. East out good maneuvering there. We got Fonus in numbers 235. Yak Panther RP22. Got the second pen ready here for Boro Badger. Folks are hiding in a ditch there, at least waiting out in the ditch. Tank and crew ready to go. against the section. Shot fired. Tank close the comet. Shot fired. Missed. Section we got backed up with the sappers. Jack Pounds in there. Half age with me too. Shot fired, missed the comet. Two things to press that thing up on Hunk against the Vickers. Get a status perch there, Panther one up in the center, Saps going in the center point here as well. Comet goes in for the Arc Panzer. Panther going for a flanky Comet Blitz going on here, though, a bit sluggish. Fox on the inside the church. Well, what remains of the church. Looking a bit dicey for Begby's forces are 
Bit up maneuver here to put it gently. Bit up maneuver. Like Kevin that gaining bet 73. Smoke grenade off there, Panther Wing ahead. There's smoke shell, not grenade. And the center bit is infantry forming up a defensive line here, but that line is quickly turning into defensive blob. And the Panther just gonna drove straight through it. Fox falling up as well. The Yak Panther support. Situation with Begby is rapidly deteriorating. Orbs on there sweeping out an entertainment crew in a matter of seconds. Begby's infantry has been routed. Support weapons are collapsing. The center has fallen to the German army, and Begby is in some uh, real trouble. Get it by the way, Kevin from the Cromwell. Or the Comet. A Cromwell. Another hit there. Yak Panther trying to win. Does not get there in time. Like it's going to destroy the six panel gun there. And we got S. So I'll tell the support call in the center. It's not destroying the enter tank gun. Maybe it just doesn't care at this point. Panther for hits a mine. Oh, he's salvaging it. Yeah. I mean, he can destroy it then still salvage it. I mean, it doesn't really matter in the order there. But I guess this looks neater for him. I like got the fuel. Another truck for Boro Bad. Yeah, the sub's going to mechanize Redmond. Yak Pants hanging back there. To very, very close to Vetsy 2, which we get access to armored skirts and such. West side here, we've got this section moving up there for Begby. The enemy cut our supply line. Truck up for Boro Bad, yeah. A capture point is being overrun. Up the Vickers. Shot fire. <clears throat> Straight to mine. That's a bit unfortunate there. Take up my Panzer Four. Few hits in the section. Of the officer specifically. Close to the east level. Trying just to quickly up maneuver Boro Bad you there. May work out, but at this point may also not work out. East level gonna launch a small counterattack here to deal with the troops there. No anti tank weapons as the Panther Four now eventually two bar clears out a section. Big some trouble here. Could upgrade the Panther Four there obviously. But yeah, at this point it seems very much GG here for Begby. Seems like GG. We have 200 points remaining. 200 points left. Most of the map is very much German now. Borobad Jolt enjoys numerical superiority in terms of armor, infantry. So looking pretty grim here for Begby. Looking pretty grim. And it's about to get, I think, a lot grimmer. There we go. Trying to get the comp safe to get to the guys. Port Corner as well here. Pentacle going for the combat blitz. And tank near up in the sub doesn't damage the engine. Almost got the comet already. Airport running in there. There we go. And the comet is down. The commander ejecting himself out there heroically. But obviously pointlessly. And with that, I think this game is very much over. Big B is. Well, pretty much dead in the water. Like a kipper. There we go. Big B surrenders. A loss for the British Army, a victory for Deutschland here. GG, game over. Hope you got this match or learned something from it. If you did subscribe, like, share, comment on it. Tell friends, share with family, but don't tell enemies. This is Imperial Links and Cheers. Thank you for watching. Hope you all tomorrow again for a massive episode. Bye.